This is a day in my life as an intervention radiologist on call. So today is a beautiful Sunday and the weather is great but uh, today I'm on call and there are a few cases to attend today. So let's see what happens. Hello brother. Uh, Hi guys. Uh, so a brief introduction about me. I am Dr. Rishabh Jain. Uh, I've done my MBBS from Ames New Delhi. My MD in Radiology from PGH Chandigarh. My SRship, a two-year SRship again from Ames Delhi and currently I'm pursuing my Intervention Radiology Fellowship at uh, Institute of Liver and Biology Sciences, New Delhi. Now, uh, today we'll be walking through a day in my life uh, as an intervention radiologist. Uh, now, I haven't made this vlog ever before. This is the first time I'm making a, a day in my life vlog. So, let's see how it happens. We have four three. patients today. So two of them are uh, some screening ultrasounds uh, that I have to do as part of the PT. And uh, one of them, there is a catheter exchange. And there is one interesting case that is coming today. Uh, it's a post-transplant case whose hepatic artery uh, has been thrombosed and so we are trying to do a catheter directed thrombolysis. Stay tuned. We are going to see a patient. Uh, he uh, has a cholangitis and uh, a post-transplant case again. So he has developed cholangitis and we are going to see if there is any biliary dilatation present or not and if anything can be done uh, from intervention radiology point of view in the form of uh, biliary drainage or something. The patient had a hepatic artery thrombosis and secondarily to that he developed cholangitis. So you can see on the ultrasound that there are small small black black areas in the liver. So those are small small cholangitic abscesses and you can also see the uh, PTBD catheter that uh, that is the biliary drainage catheter inside the liver. Now, uh, since it was an old case of uh, HAT, that is hepatic artery thrombosis, so unfortunately uh, we can't open the, the artery now. We'll just manage the biliary complications. Now, another case, very interesting case, is there in the cath lab. So the patient was uh, was referred to us uh, with the hepatic artery thrombosis. So it is uh, only POD seven. Now we are trying to see if anything can be done endovascularly if we can open the artery through a catheter and put some thrombolytics in it. So we'll have to see in the angiogram itself uh, when the patient is on the cath lab table. So uh, let's see uh, what the next case is. Now that patient had uh, acute uh, hepatic artery thrombosis and it was post-operative day 7 and we could not negotiate the tight thrombosis and so the procedure was deferred because the stenosis or thrombosis could not be negotiated and hence the thrombolysis uh, would have not been adequate. So we are moving on to the next case now. So there is this uh, patient in the ICU uh, whose catheter is not draining. So there is a catheter in the ascites. Uh, which we put a few days ago for draining a large uh, site that she has and now the catheter is not draining and so that might need me a repositioning so let's go to the ICU and see what we're up to so this patient has a cross ascites and his PCD is blocked that is her catheter is blocked 
So let's just see the ultrasound and see we have to reposition that again. Would you wait to go to the top? Okay, I समोसा चाय, सारे हॉस्पिटल का स्केटल फूल। फिनिश। नाउ लेट्स गो सी सम मोर पेशेंट्स। एंटर दी सम स्कैन्स। So it's 7 p.m. now and I have had a few cases already and now I've got a call from Nephrology Ward so there's a patient who, under, who needs an urgent dialysis and unfortunately his AV fistula has stopped working so we need to put in an urgent uh, catheter line, a hemodialysis catheter line uh, for hemodialysis. So let's go and do it. So I am at the nephrology ward, so the patient is in ICU and so let's just see the patient and do it. So that was the catheter line insertion that we did for hemodialysis. The patient's AV fistula was failing, it was not having a good flow, so we had to put a, a hemodialysis catheter line in the left intranjugular vein. Now it's uh, around 8.30 pm now, so time for dinner. See you. So let's see. Thank you. So okay, okay, था। अभी plate को रख देते हैं आगे। ये लो भैया plate। So that was all for today. This was a day in my life as an on-call intervention radiologist. If you like my content, I have made other such videos, I have made other strategy videos, you can subscribe to my channel and I'll keep uploading such more videos. Now, a few updates regarding my life. I feel that I haven't uh, quite updated you guys about the latest happenings in my life. So, uh, first, I have joined an Intervention Radiology Fellowship uh, at ILBS New Delhi. So, ILBS is Institute of uh, Liver and Biliary Sciences. So, it's an autonomous institute under, under the Delhi government. And uh, it was two years uh, of SRship that I had already done uh, at AIMS and I thought of specializing in intervention radiology because I really liked my uh, angiography posting back at AIMS and during my SRship. So this is a one year program at ILBS New Delhi and I hope to learn some great uh, liver and biliary interventions and uh, currently I'm posted in a non-vascular uh, part of my fellowship. Super exciting, the fellowship is good. Uh, my mentors are great, very learned, uh, very uh, humble, very knowledgeable. 
and uh, I hope to gain the most out of my fellowship. Now, the second update, which have <laughs> have occurred quite a long back ago, uh, is regarding my marriage. So I am married now. Yes, uh, I married my long-term girlfriend uh, last year in December. So we married on eighth December last year, and uh, it's been around uh, eight months already, nine months uh, since our marriage. And uh, that's it about uh, my life update. I think. So hope you like the video. Uh, if you want me to keep making such vlogs, do put a comment in the comment section. And thank you for subscribing. Bye bye.